Hey, it's Mike here, Pro Steel Products. Uh, this video is going to be the install of the swing out tailgate for Carex 1000. Uh, this is going to go pretty quick. I'm going to pause it as I'm screwing in the bolts so you have to go through all that pain. But this video is out a little late. I get it. Uh, there's been a lot of these out there already. I've walked people through the phone and, and given them some tips. But uh, this is going to help you get it. I have some actual tips that will actually help you install these and everybody's been installing them without any issues so let's jump right into it let me pause this grab the camera and i'll walk around and i'll show you what i do to set up everything okay guys when uh you're going to be using this area right here so take this d-ring out you can put the d-ring back in there on top of this bolt but you will get a half inch uh spacer make sure this washer down there stays there because that makes the plastic able to float on there. So you're just going to set that right on top. Keep that there. Uh, we're going to show you how to hang that on. Same way with this side. Leave that silver washer down there. Put that right on top. That's one of the mounting points right there. Uh, now, these ones that, okay, these are very tricky because if, if these strip out or cross thread, cross thread really easy I'm going to show you a way to, to help prevent that uh, it works pretty good I have these lubed up with uh, WD-40 but take all these bolts out this side and that side because you're going to be using that now the third mounting point is down here right here okay if you have not had anything in there and you've been riding around mud and all that stuff these threads may need cleaned out they're 10 millimeter 1.25 uh, we're going to be mounting here on each side here and these two bolts now to prep it uh, we don't have one we got them all shipped out but we got these going to be going out today after we get them done this is early in the morning but I'm going to install my gate uh, the bottom mounting point is a little different on mine than the one you're going to get because this is going to be mounted and welded to the bottom and it's going to fit right there. Well, this is the other side, but you'll get the idea. It, it fits right there and there's a, a quarter inch spacer that goes in between this and this and you bolt it in. But like I said, this is the other side. so. Uh, <clears throat> that'll be welded on there that's the only difference between this gate and the one you're going to get <clears throat> but uh, these bolts right up here just loosen them up they're all loose flopping around in there okay this will make your install so much easier for these uh these back uh bolts back here because if yeah i don't know if you can see that but let me get a light hold on Okay, you probably see how that sprung out and it's uh, not lined up anymore. Now, if you didn't loosen those bolts up there on the top, that you're going to be using ratchet straps and everything trying to get that back lined up. But since you loosened those, let me set this light down. You can see that you can move this thing around now. Okay. That is the tip that's going to make this so much easier to do. You know, this thing will move all around so you can line everything up. Okay? So, now you're all prepped. You got these four bolts out <clears throat> on each, you know, two on each side. You got these done. These are the two that you're going to hang the gate on first. And it will hang there. Let me get the gate up here and I'll put these uh, bolts in. Not tight but just let it hang there and I'll show you how it works. Okay, now we loosely have these bolts in. You can see that they are loose. They're just snug where the gate will hang there. And this part, let me try and get it in the video. There you go. And uh, the bottom, you're, like I said, mine are different because I have different brackets that go in here, but the brackets I showed you will be lined up with this. So don't bother with that until you get these top ones. And you can see how far off that is, but you can move it. 
okay if you need somebody to help you hold the gate in place while you get these bolts started that's fine I'm gonna try and set up the tripod here to where you can watch me and see how I do this all right I think I have I'm gonna try and get in here and uh, what I do is I have a, a screw disc a, for my drill press but it's just a steel pin uh, you're gonna put it down in the hole because this one Depending on how your spring out, they might be staying in order and, and you might not have to do this. But it's very important to get this lined up. So these and put a little lube on there. Now when you start these, you should be able to finger them all the way in. Just finger it all the way down. If you don't and you only go like a turn or turn and a half, then you put the wrench on it, you got a problem maybe you're cross threading it. So it's very important. If you cross thread this, it's going to cause you grief. So anyway, we're going to put this way down inside past the threads. And I know it has to come this way and down. So I'm just going to pull it that way. And now, uh, I hope you can see this, but I can feel the threads and I'm actually moving this around a little bit just to get to where I can turn it in with my fingers and I know it's not cross threaded now that I got about three or four rounds in there I know I'm good and if you have a extension with knurling on it to where you can grip it you can grab that and run that all the way down and when you run it all the way down if you tighten this bolt the other one should stay lined up Okay, so that's snug right there. Let me get, uh, well, let me get my ratchet. It's over here. And uh, so I'm going to go back to pulling this down to where it was easy, and then tighten that up. Oh, I didn't have that in. There we go. Okay, then that would should have stayed stayed right where it was, and. <clears throat> The next bolt should be able to go right in. So I'm just going to put it there and just run it right down. And it lined up perfect. So we're going to, you know, as long as you can do it with your hands, you're not cross threading it. So there's that. And we'll finish running it down. We got about four or five threads on it, so I know it's in there right. So when you tighten this up, just go ahead and tighten them down. Now you got that side done. We're going to do the other side the same way. And just take your time. Move this around. Make sure you're not cross-threading this. Once you get three or four threads in there, you should be good. But keep the pressure off it like I did. And just run it down and you shouldn't have a problem. Let me get the other side and I'll show you what's next. Okay, so I had to put the pin in and pull straight down on it to get these to go in there right. So... Once you uh, get them started, then you can run these all the way down. All right, guys, I'm trying to do this one-handed, but uh, there is a, a quarter-inch spacer right there that goes against the frame here. This tab I showed you is going to be already mounted to that, and you're just going to run the bolt in. It's got a good, nice slot to where you got plenty of room for air. And you're going to run that in, tighten it down on both sides. Uh, once you get these all tightened down, uh, the last thing to do, well, second to the last thing, is go ahead and tighten these up, okay? Don't over-tighten them. They're 8 millimeter bolts there, so be careful tightening those. Just give them, give them good and snug. These uh, cage bolts, you can put some extra on them. They're bigger bolts. Then when you're done with that, you walk back over to your sides and you're going to, don't forget to tighten all these bolts up. Alright, just, uh, I use an impact and I just hit them, uh, I don't know how much it gives, maybe, you know, 150, 200 foot pounds or something and uh, it impacts and they're pretty tough. Cage bolts, I uh, just give it a little hit and after you get that done, uh, your install for the tailgate is complete. All right, everybody, that was uh, the install video. It should go very easily for you if you just follow the tips. The biggest tip is loosen them cage bolts. 
that'll make it go real easy. Uh, we're shipping out more than we're bringing in, so we're catching up. Uh, we, had a, we had a lot of orders and we're getting them. We're getting them out there pretty quick. So be patient. Uh, if you have any problems, reach out to me. And uh, we hope to see you on the trail soon. All right, guys. Have a great day.